Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am still here, homebound, and working through all of your video requests. So today's video is another one that has been very highly requested and it is an updated denim video. So here I have my beautiful pile of denims and these essentially are like the core pairs of jeans that I have in my wardrobe at the moment. So I have some favourites in here, some new favourites and some old favourites and I'm just going to run through a few points about each pair. Right, so pair number one. These are probably, are they my newest pair of jeans? No, they're not my newest pair of jeans, but they are a new favourite. So this is what I was referring to at the start of the video. These are a new favourite. These are from a brand called Totem, which is a Scandinavian brand. Um, in terms of price, they are a little bit higher than High Street. Um, they were like 150 something pounds. But in comparison to a lot of premium denim retailers, I actually think that they're really good value for money. And the fit of these is a high-waisted, slim leg. Now, they are quite slim, but I would say they're sort of slim to straight because they don't really tend to taper in down at the bottom. But they are an incredible fit, like absolutely beautiful. I personally find them to be such a flattering pair of jeans and at the moment I can't seem to find them in any other colours aside from this washed black. If they come in blue please point me in the direction of this exact pair in blue because I would literally have every single colour these come in. They are such a nice rigid like a proper denim and that's what I love about jeans they are a proper proper denim incredible fit on the bum for me personally I have very long legs and these are actually a full length pair of jeans and for that reason they have to be officially my favorite pair of jeans right now right moving on to pair number two and I've just realized my jumper is absolutely fluffing everywhere. So for anyone that's interested in this jumper, make a note, it fluffs absolutely everywhere. Right, pair number two. These are from a very sustainable denim brand called Boyish Jeans. You might have seen me talk about this brand a few times before. I even did a vlog where I actually got to go and meet Jordan, who is the founder of Boyish Jeans. He used to work for Reformation, so he has a really good sustainable background. And he has now gone on to found his own brand called Boyish. I can't remember and I'm just trying to look for like a style name on these. Oh, they're Tommy. These are the Tommy. So these are, I would say these are a straight leg. They are very similar in fit to a pair of Levi's 501s, which I have coming up toward the bottom of the pile because they're still a favourite of mine. Um, and again, they are a rigid denim, so like Levi's 501s and similar to the Totem um, jeans which I just featured. These are a really, really light wash. So actually I haven't really worn these throughout the winter months, but in summer, I think this is a really nice wash to have. They're a really nice fit. Um, I wouldn't have said that they're the most flattering of fits, just for this particular style. Obviously boyish jeans, they do have lots of other styles as well, but this particular style is what I would say is quite a masculine fit. Um, and the only area I kind of struggle with a little bit with these is the waist. So I find that the waist on the back of them just bags out a little bit. So I tend to wear these with a belt. Leg length, they do come up a little bit short. But again, as I was saying for summer, I kind of like that. I don't always want a full length jean for summer because I don't really tend to wear boots. So it's not like I would need them. Just with a pair of sandals or trainers or ballet pumps or loafers even, I think they are a really good pair of jeans. And if you're looking at buying new jeans, then I would definitely recommend having a look at Boyish, the brand, because they have some really nice styles. And when you have a look into kind of the specifics of the company, I just really like their, their ethics and how they operate. And having spoken to Jordan myself, all of the lengths that he goes to, to create a really, really sustainable pair of jeans, which is by no means an easy task. Right, I'm just gonna have a little tea break. A pair of jeans number three. I'm trying to have a look and see which ones these are. 
Okay, these are my Arquette Slim jeans. So you guys know that I am a big fan of Arquette denim. Discovered this maybe about a year and a half ago when I started shopping a lot more at Arquette and very quickly came to love pretty much all of their denim. So the slim jeans, I have these in, I think, three colours now. But as it is coming into spring summer, I have only this colour within my current wardrobe. So the other two colours, which were much darker, have gone up in storage. This colour is, as you can see from my pile, quite a summery colour that I tend to go for. It's quite a light wash. In terms of fit and denim, these do have a very small percentage of elastin in them. And because they are slim jeans, and you can probably see in the cutaways how different the fit and the cut is in comparison to the totem jeans, which are also called slim. These, I would say, are a definite slim fit because they do taper slightly towards the bottom, but not as much as a skinny jean. So if you're not quite a fan of a skinny jean, but you do want something a little bit more fitted to give your legs more shape, Arquette Slim Jeans are what I would definitely recommend. And they are, they feel like a nice denim, but they're not totally rigid because, as I just mentioned, they have a small percentage of elastin in them, which means that they do have a little bit of stretch, which makes them, I would say, slightly more comfortable than any 100% cotton jeans. Right, moving on to pair of jeans number, what number are we on? Number four. Okay, so these are, these are my newest pair of jeans. I bought two pairs of these to try out because I hadn't tried out H&M denim in some time and I also hadn't tried out a new style of mum jeans. If we rewind to, I would say three, no, two and a half years ago-ish, you guys might have remembered that my favourite pair of mum jeans, in fact they were pretty much my favourite pair of jeans and I had them in about four colours, were the Zara mum jeans. I'd imagine they still make them, they were about £25.99 per pair. They were a really nice denim and as much as I really don't want a big Zara up, they were brilliant jeans. But over the last few years, I have decided to stop shopping at Zara. And so I wanted to try and find a new pair of mom jeans, which were from a brand that I do shop with. So these are from H&M. They are from the Conscious Collection. I tend to only buy from the Premium Collection and the Conscious Collection. There's often a bit of overlap between the two because more often than not, the Conscious Collection uses a lot nicer fabrics, so they tend to also be in the Premium Collection. But these are the Conscious Mom jeans. I bought two pairs. This kind of vintagey acid wash, it's very 90s with all of the like darker little patches here, and a black pair, which I have on. These, it is worth mentioning, do have stretch to them. I don't know if you can see me stretching them, but they are such a comfortable pair of jeans, which is why I wore the black pair to film this video, because they are more than comfortable to sit down in and definitely comfortable for eating in, because you know how I like to judge my jeans on their room for eating factor, shall we say. These are a really comfortable pair of jeans. They are a little bit cropped on me. I'm five foot nine, just for reference, and my inseam would be 34.5 inches. So that kind of gives you guys a little rough gauge. But as I mentioned before, I quite like a crop jean, especially for summer. And mum jeans, I think they work better being slightly cropped. So that's not really an issue for me. But obviously if you are a little bit more petite, something to bear in mind that they are gonna come up a little bit longer. Yeah, just a really, really good pair of jeans. Very, very affordable, um, nice and comfortable. And even though they have that elastin in them, I don't find, or I haven't found yet, I've washed them maybe about once or twice, but I haven't found that they've started to lose their shape. But if you watched my video from a couple of days ago, which was on how I care for my delicates and my denim, 
there are some little tips in there on how to care for your denim. If you haven't seen it already, I would definitely recommend, obviously, because it's my video, but I would recommend going and having a little watch. Moving on to my fifth pair of jeans. In fact, fifth and sixth, because these are both the same. And I'm going back to Arquette again. Now, these are the only pair of darker wash jeans that I've kept in my summer wardrobe. And to be honest, as we kind of go into the summer months, kind of moving out of spring, I probably won't wear this dark colour so much as I do tend to be drawn a lot more to the lighter denim washes. But these are the Arquette regular jeans. Um, I think these are actually exclusive to Arquette online and I do apologise profusely to those of you who cannot even buy Arquette like you guys over in the US of A. I know unfortunately Arquette does not ship to you guys yet but fingers crossed for the future hopefully they will. But these jeans Oh, I love them. I have a pair of redone jeans which I got sent a few years ago and they were called the Crawford jeans. So they were from the Cindy Crawford collection. They were gonna be in this video, but unfortunately they're in the wash. They're actually air drying as we speak. So I couldn't actually feature them, but you guys would have seen them before and I've featured them so many times, worn them so many times across all my platforms. So I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But these, are an incredible dupe for those because it's proper, like proper, I wanna use the word stiff, but I don't mean it in a negative way. It's proper rigid denim. They are a longer length. Now it is worth me mentioning that the regular jeans also do come in a cropped length as well. So for any of you petite gals out there, fret not, they do come in a shorter leg length. But these, I personally love the leg length because they come at just the right length for my long legs, which is always a bonus. I've also just realized, and I do this with so many pairs of jeans, and it's actually a massive bugbear of mine, but when brands sew the denim label on with like a little bit of stitching, because I just get excited, rip the label off and then wear them, and these jeans are like a year, uh, are they about a year old? No, maybe about eight months old, um, and I've been wearing them all this time with that little bit of stitching on there. Um, but yeah, I have them here in two colours, but I do also have like a grey or charcoal -y colour as well. This colour will probably be my most worn throughout the spring summer months. Just really good denim, they wash well, they are a very nice fit, they are, I would say, Similar to the Totem jeans, they are a slim to straight, somewhere kind of in the middle, but an incredibly nice cut, really well made, really durable, comfortable. Yes, I would say they are, but of course, with any denim that is made from, or with any pair of jeans that's made from a rigid denim, they're not quite as comfortable, especially not for eating and sitting, as a pair of jeans that would have elastin in them. So just also something to bear in mind, but still incredibly flattering in the cut and in general, just a really good pair of jeans, especially for the high street. Okay, next pair of jeans. And I get asked this quite a lot. Do you still wear skinnies? So I do have a few pairs of skinnies actually. I have a pair from Everlane, but they've gone away in my storage tubs. And as this is a spring summer collection, I am not featuring them, but I do have these. If you're comfortable and confident in a pair of skinnies, wear them, you know? These are from Current Elliot and I have these in two different colors. One is a slightly darker wash. I cannot remember what these are called and I don't think it's gonna say inside, but I think it's something like, oh no, it does say, it says the Caballo High Waist Stiletto Skinny. They are a little bit cropped. They do have a bit of stretch to them, which I think is essential with a skinny. I don't really know any skinny jeans that don't have stretch in them and they have a cropped leg, or at least it's cropped on me. I'm not entirely sure if they're supposed to be cropped, but they are on me, and I quite like that. Really good pair of skinnies. I just like the fit, I like the cut, I like the fabric, I find them comfortable, and actually, I really like this 
wash it's kind of like a dirty wash i'm like are they just dirty no it is a dirty wash it's got like a sort of vintagey tone to the lighter parts of the denim and there's like some little areas here on the pocket that look like they've been nibbled i know we all miss that term but a little bit of nibbled hemorrhage going on over there yeah just a really nice pair of jeans super 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 comfortable because they have that stretch in them and as far as skinnies go yeah i just i really like those i think the fit on them is absolutely beautiful so current elliot little bit pricier i know but jeans are always worth the investment in my opinion moving on to the penultimate pair of jeans and i mentioned these earlier on in the video it is a pair of vintage levi's 501s i have mentioned these in any denim video that i have ever made in the course of my youtube career if you will um this pair is a pair that i tend to whip out these are three years or they've been with me in their lifetime for about three years but as they are vintage i couldn't tell you how old they are you will notice in the fit that especially around that little v area where your legs are um there will be a slight bagginess to the fabric and they might fit perhaps slightly differently to how a pair of women's jeans would fit and that is purely because they are unisex so obviously they've been cut to accommodate other things in there um levi's 501s are a straight cut fit that is what they are known for now in terms of sizing because it is a little bit difficult and it took me a few different attempts to get the right size of my 501s i have these in a waist 31 although i do have a couple of pairs in a waist 30 as well and a length 32 and the bonus of buying vintage Levi's is A, it's probably the most sustainable way to buy your jeans because they're pre-owned, they've been around for, in most cases, at least 20 years. Um, someone else or many other people have owned them prior to you, so they'll have been washed in the denim. Although still rigid and proper Levi's denim, it will have softened a lot. So that's why they often tend to be a real big fave of mine. Um, and they're super, super cheap. I don't think I've ever paid any more than £20 for a pair of vintage Levi's. And some of them I leave full length. Some of them I chop off and make into cutoffs because you guys know that that is the only denim shorts that I will wear throughout the summer months. Um, I haven't tried turning any into skirts yet, but I do have a redone Levi's remastered skirt. I don't see why I couldn't try that out and I haven't tried tailoring any of them yet. So maybe that might be something for a future video. So yes, Levi's 501s. If you haven't tried them yet, I would definitely recommend having a little look. I mean, we've got lots of extra time on our hands now. Maybe have a little browse of eBay and Etsy. Just put some in your watch list for now because obviously I know none of us are ordering things off eBay and Etsy at the moment, um, but would potentially be worth revisiting once the world writes itself. Now, moving on to my last pair of jeans, and it would be very wrong of me not to include redone things as that I have banged on about them so much throughout this video already. So these are my stove pipes, and yes, they are black, similar to the totem jeans, which I featured, um, and these will be the only two super dark or like black colored jeans that I will keep in my spring summer wardrobe because I will wear them from time to time. The stove pipes are again I would say a straight leg but they're very fitted I suppose it depends what size you go for but I find that they're very fitted on the top half and then they go out to this straight cut and mine in particular have the frayed hem. I haven't cut these myself this is how they come. And um, so these are redone originals, which means that they are redone's own design and own brand. But obviously, as I've mentioned, redone also remaster um, Levi's jeans as well. They're made in the US of A, which I always find is a bonus for denim because I just think you guys in the US know what you're doing when it comes to denim. Um, and I think... I could be wrong in saying this, but I think they've taken a lot of inspiration from Levi's as a brand and they use a really good, rigid, very Levi's-esque denim, which is what I absolutely love from a pair of jeans. 
So again, when it comes to comfort, not necessarily the most comfortable, and especially this pair because they are quite high-waisted. So sitting and eating, not the most comfortable, but you can just undo the button, can't you? That is what I say to that. Um, but yeah, really nice flattering fit, nice crop leg for summer, I think, and just just a damn good pair of jeans and yes for anyone that is asking i do think redone are worth the money there aren't many denim brands that i think are worth paying such a premium price tag for but redone are one of them right that is it from me and my denim wares if you have any denim questions do let me know down in the comment section below and otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in tomorrow's video. See you then. Bye. That was energetic, wasn't it? My peppermint tea.